The rotator cuff is the deep layer of muscles in the shoulder, and it provides the rotational control and stability for the shoulder joint. So it's made up of four different muscles that all work together, like a cuff wrapping around the humeral head to provide stability when you move the shoulder. A common injury to the rotator cuff is, is a rotator cuff tear. So when patients have a rotator cuff tear that needs to be repaired, the process is arthroscopically, we can go into the shoulder through little portals, so no large incisions, and we can clean up any bone spurs or bursa around the tendon that's torn, and then get the tendon back to healthy tissue and healthy bone where it attaches, and then repair the tendon back to the bone, typically with sutures and anchors to reattach it so it can heal because when it when it tears it pulls away and that's why those don't heal on their own. So there are a couple of things we can do that help the patient heal after surgery and that's in the, the category of the biologics that are available today and in patients that have a thin or degenerative rotator cuff tendon we can place a collagen graft over the tendon that integrates in with the tendon and, and gets turned over into new collagen, new tendon like tissue uh, to thicken the rotator cuff up at its attachment site where we've repaired it. And the other that has had data come out in the last couple of years in the literature is PRP or platelet-rich plasma injection done at the time of surgery. And there's been some promising studies that have demonstrated that those patients that have a PRP injection at the time of surgery have an increased success rate for uh, healing of their rotator cuff repair on long-term follow-up. The surgery done arthroscopically typically takes about an hour and it's a day surgery procedure so you, you go home the same day, therapy starts the next day and then therapy works with you initially just to get your motion back um, so that you don't get stiff. And it takes about four months for bone and tendon to grow back together so most of the therapy at that point during that four months is passive range of motion and then after that four months you progress back into normal active motion. It's about a six month recovery um, after a full thickness rotator cuff repair to get back to full unrestricted activities. But that's shorter than never if you don't repair it.